All right. You guys are going to like this one. My most powerful pestilence build just got even stronger by hundreds of thousands per tick. Um, this thing's ridiculous. I can't wait to show you guys. So here we go. Do do do. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I made my most powerful pestilence build even more powerful after this uh, introduction to the expertise leveling system. Um, so this thing hits for over 1.85 million per bullet, and I will show you. Not only that, but I'm going to show you what this thing does solo against all of the countdown hunters. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. You're going to enjoy this one. And if you find this informative or helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It really does help me out. If you want to support the channel, you can subscribe. And if you do not want to miss a single video, make sure you ring that notification bell because I post division videos every day. Now, finally, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but let's jump into this. First up, I'm going to show you what this thing does per bullet, and then I'm going to show you what this thing does against all of those hunters solo. So uh, we'll jump into that, and then we will be right back for the build breakdown. So enjoy, everybody. All right. So what is this? Uh, we usually do invulnerable elite, right? We'll do five meters. Sit here for a second. We'll see what this baby does. Get my ticks up. It takes, what, about 10 seconds? Okay. Okay. And we're good. Hitting for just under 1.1 mil to the head. 1.855 1.855 Do it again one point eight five five and this is the highest I can do solo. This is the highest. Alright. Again, 8.5, nice. Um, this is pretty ridiculous. 1.85 million per tick on a pestilence. This is my um, most powerful pestilence build, and now it's hitting for way more than it used to. This expertise system is making the pestilence a bad mamma jamma, but don't take my word for it. Let's go uh, jump into some gameplay. All right. So I'm not going to be editing this, so I'm going to show you what it's like against the Hunters solo with this build. So it's going to be tricky, but uh, I'll see what I can do. Because it has perfect glass cannon, so if the Hunters hit me, I'm pretty much dead within two bullets. We'll see. We shall see. Um, just to help me out, I'll do... Riot foam and shock trap. All right. Now, because I'm tier one from the technician, I get three charges on my riot foam instead of uh, the two. So let's do this. I know the hunter's right next to me on the other side of this wall. So I'm gonna get my stacks up real quick. See what I can do. All right, stacks are up. Oh, he's immune. Uh, got a one million tick off of him, but my stacks went away before I was able to do anything. Alright, got my stacks back on. System 
Serious trauma detected. Got him. Got him. It doesn't help when they have the uh, hazard boost on too, so now my shock traps and my riot foam aren't even helping me at all. That sucks. <laughs> let's see, let's hope that this one gives me that hazard. Come on, at least make it easier for me. What is this? Skill cooldowns. Crap, dude, so none of my skills are gonna work against the hunters. They're uh, fully immune. Um, what can I do, what can I do? Let's do, um, crap, man, this sucks, this sucks, let's do shrapnel, all right, we'll try it this way, unless this uh, boost right up here gives me the hazard, but I doubt it, we'll see, please, please give me the hazard, these hunters are hard when they're immune to everything else. Yes, there we go. All right. So now I can go back to my riot foam and my shock trap. All right, there we go. All right, wait for my ticks to go back up. You can see the indicator right underneath my ammo. All right, and go. Almost had him, almost had him. Like I'm at 1.3 million ticks, 1.5 million ticks, 1.6. Got him. Way easier with hazard. Way easier. Because now I can uh, shock them, I can foam them, whatever it is I need. Way easier. Cover. Oh yeah, the hunters are going down now. There we go. There we go. How did he get that heal off? How, dude? Oh, he didn't get shocked out of any of those? Oh, man. Gotcha. Gotcha. Bye bye. There we go. And there goes all of the hunters solo with the most powerful pestilence build in the game. We make it look easy. Too easy. Boom. All right. Now let's get uh, into the build breakdown. Let's go. All right. That wasn't too bad, was it? Now, what you guys uh, just saw, guys, gals, agents of all ages, agendas, religions, backgrounds, whatever. Uh, what you guys just witnessed was uh, my most powerful pestilence build, not only in action on the firing range, but also in countdown against all of those hunters solo. Now this thing smacks. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is a build that I made uh, probably about nine months ago. And I do this uh, about once every year because I am a true fan of the pestilence exotic LMG. It's one of my favorite exotics in the game. So every eh, nine months or so, I'll make a new or an updated video on the most powerful one because it's a lot of fun to use and I thoroughly 
enjoy it. Now, this one is expertise level 16. So just remember that whenever you're seeing all of these numbers and you're like, man, yours is hitting a little bit harder than mine. It's probably because of the expertise level. And this is going to hit even harder once I make it to expertise level 20. So this does have a little bit of room for improvement, about four expertise levels to be exact. But let's start with the build. Now we are talking about the specialization. I am using the technician specialization. Reason being is my secondary is the king breaker. And I kind of wanted, uh, I, I don't know, the king breaker does a lot of work as well. Like if I can get all of the stacks from the pestilence on an enemy and then switch to my king breaker and then get that perfect flat line from that laser pointer, oh my gosh, this thing hits really, really hard. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So I paired that up with the technician because it doesn't matter what specialization you use for the pestilence. It really doesn't matter at all. Because the pestilence is based off of weapon damage and weapon damage only. So crit, headshot, whatever it is, it does not matter. It does not help your ticks. What helps your ticks are weapon damage and weapon damage talents that will increase that damage because that is the only thing that affects your tick damage on the pestilence. I just want to make that loud and clear. Now, speaking of which, let's talk about the pestilence. So this one is sitting at 123.2k total damage. It is expertise level 16 and god rolled. Max LMG, damage to targets out of cover, and armor damage. Now, what I'm talking about is the Talent Plague of the Outcast. Hits will apply that debuff of weapon damage. That's all this is surrounding, is weapon damage and talents that increase this weapon damage. Because this, uh, these ticks from the Plague of the Outcast is what takes out those hunters. It's what takes out multiple enemies at once. Because this tick will just keep transferring over and over until everything around you is dead. And as long as you can get up to those max stacks, it's game over for whatever enemy is in front of you. Now, um, my secondary is the Kingbreaker. It is expertise level 16 as well with damage to targets out of cover and 148k for that total damage. It comes with perfect flatline. So I'm using that laser pointer to pulse the enemy, and then it gives me amplified damage. And then my sidearm is the backup boomstick. This thing's sitting at 1.5 million total damage with close and personal. Max armor damage, damage to targets out of cover, and then that 17% shotgun. Ooh, it's nasty. Now looking at the build itself. This is the exact same um, combination that I did for uh, last year's um, most powerful pestilence build. The only difference is, is that this time around I specced into weapon handling on everything and headshot damage. Except for the hollow man mask because that's the only one that's the odd man out. Speaking of which, let's jump into it. So the Hollow Man Mask. This is actually for sale this week with the uh, weekly vendor reset. I believe it's Dark Zone East where you can pick it up. Now, as far as why I am using this, it's because of the health damage. Now, that 10% health damage does help out your pestilence. Any sort of multiplicatives at all will help out your pestilence. So armor damage, damage to targets out of cover, health damage, all of these things help. Now, you could do three pieces of walker, being the holster, the backpack, and the mask. However, if you look here in the brand set bonuses, you would only get 5% damage to health. Now, this hollow man gives you 10% damage to health. So that's where this kind of, you know, goes above and beyond because I'm getting that extra 5% health damage. Now, this mask, I do get hazard from the brand set bonus. Doesn't really matter. I am only using it for that health damage attribute. Now, I re-rolled the core attribute to weapon damage because I needed that extra you know, weapon damage to get that pestilence tick up. Therefore, I had to sacrifice the crit hit damage for the smaller attribute. I would want to see weapon handling there, but it is what it is. And then I put on there a max headshot damage mod for no real reason, just because, why not? 
Speaking of the Walker Harris, here is the backpack. Now, the Walker Harris brand set bonuses I get from this build, I get the weapon damage and armor damage. Now, as far as the attributes here, max weapon damage for the core, headshot, and weapon handling with a max headshot mod. Now, for the talent vigilance, this increases my weapon damage by 25%, which does help out my pestilence. Going to the chess piece, the sacrifice chess piece. This is the named Providence defense chess piece with perfect glass cannon. It amplifies all damage you do by 30%, and this directly helps my pestilence. Now, as far as the attributes and brand set bonus, I get 15% headshot from the Providence defense brand set. It is max on the core attribute, and it comes with weapon handling and headshot as well with a max headshot mod. Going to the gloves, contractor gloves. Now, the contractor gloves are the named Petrov gloves with armor damage. Now, armor damage is another multiplicative buff that does help out our weapon damage, which directly helps out our pestilence. Also, Petrov, the brand set bonus, gives us 10% LMG damage, which also increases our pestilence ticks. Now, as far as the attributes here, max weapon damage for that core and weapon handling. Going to the holster, the other piece of Walker Harris, this one, max weapon damage for the core, crit damage, and weapon handling. Again, the crit damage doesn't matter, neither does the headshot. That weapon handling is what I want, just so I can reload faster, get more bullets downrange, and get more ticks on those enemies. And then the Sawyer knee pads, this is the oddball because it does come with a blue core attribute. However, the talent is the entire reason why you're using it because it gives you an extra 30% weapon damage just from the talent alone. And that by itself is better than anything else you could put on here, including the Fox's Prayer knee pads. Now for this one, it does come with that blue core attribute and then explosive resistance and health. Neither one of those help out my pestilence. It's all about the talent, stand your ground. You cannot move, however, um, because you're not moving, it'll gain stacks of weapon damage. Each stack is 3%. You can get a max of 10 stacks. So what you do is you sit in place, you get your stacks up, and then you can move around for 10 seconds before you lose them. So you have to sit in place for 10 seconds, and then you can run around for 10 seconds, and then you'll lose those stacks, just so you know. And that is the most powerful Pestilence build in the game. I am sitting at around, what was it, 1.855 million damage per tick with this combination. Now, as far as the skills are concerned, I was just using these for the hunters, the shock trap, and the riot foam. It was perfect for those hunters and countdown. I loved it. Now, let's finish off with the stat sheet. Uh, pestilence, here we go. 115.6 on the weapon damage, 10% crit chance, 69 crit damage with 150% headshot. Don't forget about the armor damage, health damage, and damage to targets out of cover. Now going to the offensive tab, we're at 106 for the all weapon damage bonus and 40% for the LMG damage bonus. So every time I use the Pestilence, I have 146% damage bonus total. For the gear talents, I am running Vigilance, Perfect Glass Cannon, and Stand Your Ground. This is from the Walker Backpack, the Sacrifice Chest Piece, and the Sawyer Knee Pads. Defensive tab, 913 for the armor. 355 for the health with explosive resistance and hazard but that is mainly due to my watch level so this is my disclaimer i do for all my build videos for this build video i am shade level 3309 that means all of these attribute boxes are maxed out 50 of 50 therefore if you are at or above shade level 1000 your character will be technically min maxed all of these attribute boxes will be maxed out Therefore, you can get the most out of your build. So just copy and paste whatever build I show you, and you should be able to get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are not shade level 1000 and you are below, you will not have all of these attribute boxes maxed out. Therefore, when you copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might be lower. It's okay. Don't freak out. It is still a great build. It's not a requirement for you to become shade level 1000. I'm just saying if your character is min-maxed, you will get the most out of your build. 
Therefore, it is my recommendation that you become Shade Level 1000 so you can get the most out of your builds. But all right, I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. But with all that said and done, I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.